with On Fire Fit and welcome to another episode of High Heel Hallelujah. I am really in a rush because I'm headed out the door to a football game for my son, but I put on this shirt because I am doing a group today and every week called Battle Plan. And so I am going to get close so that you can see that this is my fight song. And I had to put on heels because I am doing my testimony high heel hallelujah and it just wouldn't work in a pair of flip flops. So I wanted to talk about this really quick because it reminded me of how much I forget the goodness of God and how I underestimate what he can do. And I think that this is something that you need to grab a hold of too. Maybe if you look back in your life, you'll see more and more things and we tend to forget. So when there is a story or something in your past that go, you remember and recall, it builds your faith and it reminds you, yeah, you know what? God has had this going all along and I just have forgotten. So. The reason I'm doing battle plan right now with um, a group of people is because we all seem to be fighting with various giants in our life, whether it's fear or anxiety, fear of the future, whether it's weight and health issues, uh, job related things, relationship related things, and we really need to be able to step up and fight. And so I love this shirt, it reminds me of my story about this song. So if you know this song by Rachel Platten, this is my fight song. Years ago, before this um, song came out on the radio, I was putting together, and it was the very beginning of On Fire Fit, I was putting together a video to demonstrate ballet for a charity. And we were gonna be using a video of me doing ballet exercises to help raise money for this charity. And we've been blessed that that actually did drive in quite a bit of money that I was able to send to my charity. Well, as I was trying to formulate this video, I realized naively, oh yeah, what about music while I'm doing ballet? It's all the weird copyright free music that I was like, oh, it's not really what I had in mind for this video. And so the copyright free music is great, but sometimes doesn't really seem appropriate for some of the stuff that I wanted to use it for. And I literally had prayed about it and dropped my kids off at school. I was headed home and this thought occurred to me to email Rachel Platten, who has written several very high in the chart songs, but one of them, her most popular one, turned out to be This Is My Fight Song. So I thought, what makes me think that she would do that? I don't know this, this singer at all. I had met her at one of her concerts before she became famous, but I thought, well, what, what's, what, how could I lose? Just send the message, who knows what's gonna happen. So I emailed the after Googling, how do you find this person? I sent a message. Within an hour, I heard back from her agent and her agent said, I read about your charity. These girls that you are supporting that are trying to make a better life for themselves, I believe this would be the perfect song and it has not been released yet, but we would love you to use it. Um, we want you to use it without having to pay any royalties as long as it's being used for charity and I will send you the mp3 file please just don't share it because we have not released it into the music world yet and I played that mp3 I was blown away that song has been used now in so many things commercials I think Super Bowl whatever else my kids were listening to it in the car and they're like, oh my gosh, I really love this song. And I said, these are the words that we need for our own lives, as well as these girls that I support in my charity. It is 
our ability to fight and get up and do what we need to do and stop laying down, letting the devil, Satan, your own rotten way of thinking, boss you around. You're done with that now. <laughs> get up and fight. And so I just wanted to share that with you. You don't know what all God has in mind for you. And sometimes the things that seem like pretty out there, why in the world would Rachel Platten let me do this? Why would her agent let me have a song that hadn't been released yet? And it ended up being this phenomenal story and reminding me that God is always watching out. He is always taking care of us. He has everything planned and don't be afraid to ask for things. Seek first his kingdom and his righteousness and all these things will be added to you as well. And I want you to remember, I thought about this, this verse this morning, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness. A lot of times we go after what we think we want and we say he's going to add it all to me, but we forgot to seek first his kingdom, meaning first going to him, spending time with him, wanting just to be with him, not wanting to get something out of him, seek first his kingdom and his righteousness, not meaning that we're going to be perfect, but we do want to live lives that are more and more and more like Christ. And as long as we are dragging around a bunch of junk that we know we shouldn't be doing, shouldn't be thinking or whatever, I don't believe we are really going after righteousness. We are not really going after what he wants for our lives. So how can we ask for all these things to be added unto us if we're not doing the other part? So God will bless you and take you where you need to go. He knows how to refine you. He knows how to take some of those rough edges off and work on you. It happens little by little. He knows when you are ready for these things. He knows how to make it happen. But our job, your job, is to seek him and try to get more connected to him and then watch as he unfolds things. And listen to the little things that he says to you, like email Rachel Platten, okay? Who knows? That could be God telling you to do something that will turn into a huge blessing and a testimony. So I hope that helps you for today. Thank you so much for being with me today. And I hope that you're living your life on fire. I didn't forget about the shoes of the day. Here you go. Here is the shoe of the day. These are usually shoes I wear if I am going to be walking a lot. They're pretty easy to walk in. And they actually have a little bow that goes on them too, but I took those off and they are BB. So another pair that my husband got for me and yeah, love them. Easy to walk in and I have had them for many years and they have stood the test of time. <laughs>